New at six, it's an education method traditionally used by some religious groups, other groups. It's now growing in popularity in the heart of Silicon Valley. KPIX 5's Elizabeth Cook explains. You know, think about school and most of us imagine a classroom packed with kids. Notre Dame. Whether it's practicing French online with a native speaker or keeping the beat in the garage during music class. Parents in the heart of Silicon Valley are embracing a new kind of school, the do-it-yourself kind. I think it is a revolution. The direction. These families took their children out of traditional schools. Just don't call this homeschooling. What we probably don't do is spend a whole lot of time at home alone. <laughs> the parents come up with the curriculum. Their kids take classes tailored to their individual needs and interests. We have a Shakespeare class with San Francisco Shakespeare. We do math more intimately. Small group learning we've realized is really effective. The hope that these young students won't burn out and that they'll want to learn for life. I do believe that we're going to be lifelong learners in the future. I believe we're going to be needing to recreate ourselves all the time. When, when the world is moving as quickly as it is and changing as quickly as it is, we're all going to need how to learn new skills. The kids are officially enrolled in a public school charter that offers independent study. The phenomenon is quickly growing. I was surprised to learn that there are actually eight uh, charter schools that enroll students from our communities here in the Bay Area into virtual or cyber or independent or home study schools. Margaret Raymond is a research fellow at the Hoover Institution. She says many of these schools measure up, even exceed California's academic performance standards. Which suggests that for these parents and these students, they're actually getting the model that seems to work for them. And with more than two million children now learning outside of traditional schools in the U.S., these parents believe eventually everyone will benefit. The better we can make learning in our little corner of the world, the more we encourage change and development and growth in the other ones too. In San Mateo, Elizabeth Cook, KPIX 5. Well, because the kids are enrolled in a public charter, the parents have access to public money. and They can use it to help pay for approved expenses like textbooks, tutors, and group lessons.